Last week, as I was just finishing my week riding home for the weekend, I got a call from one of my clients and he said, look, I know we have like a big week coming up and we have to launch a website, but there is also a convention that we decided to go through last minute. And so I will need you to do a couple more things to be uh, set up for the, uh, for the convention. And I said, okay, at the beginning I told them, look, uh, so we're going to have to postpone the, the website uh, launch because I can't do them both. And then he said, no, we have to have the, the website ready because people in the convention were probably going to look us up. We need to have the website ready. So I said, okay, I'll figure out a way to do this. Then got home, got a, a message from another client that said, look, I have a super important meeting uh, beginning of next week and I'll need um, one design ready for the beginning of the week. And I also said, okay to that. Now, the reason that I said okay to both clients, even though I have a super crazy week coming up is that, first of all, they're important clients, they're paying me a lot of money and I, think that actually saving their ass, you know, when they're in the most need, needed position is actually the best thing that you can do uh, for a client because once you save their ass once, they're not going to replace you ever. That's kind of the most valuable thing that you can do for them. And I know that for me, one of the core values is getting stuff done even if the, the deadline is super, super tight. So I said okay to both of them, but then what happened is that during the weekend, I started to think about everything that I have to do this week and I started to get super stressed. Now here's why. I'm not a brain expert or something, but I think I read once that this is how it works. Uh, you can only keep like certain number of items in your brain at the same time. I think that number is around seven. So if you have like five tasks that you have to do, it's okay. You can always think about, oh, those are the things that I have to do. So, okay, I can understand what I need to do. But if that's beyond that number, let's say that's seven, let's say you have 15 things that you have to do, then all of a sudden you can think about them all at the same time. And then you just have the feeling that you have tons of stuff to do. It's actually, it's actually like my little son, you know, I, I asked him, I show him, you know, a, a group of items. I said, how much is this? This is one. How much is this? Two. And after like a, a certain number of four, how much is this? Many. Okay. From numbers, it's become the, the feeling of this is a, a lot of stuff. So I think our brain is kind of working the same way. So I had around, I don't know, probably 15 or 20 things to do. And that just felt like tons of stuff to do. I didn't even know how many things I had to do. So during the weekend, I saw that I cannot concentrate on relaxing and being with my family. So I just went over uh, to my computer, opened Trello, and just started kind of a checklist with the to-dos of everything that I had to do. Just pull down everything, just take it out of my brain and write it down in Trello. And then kind of started to break them down uh, to every pay, every day of the week, depending on you know the deadline of each task. And everything has to be ready by, by Wednesday. So basically it's Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Uh, in Israel, we work Sunday to, uh, to Thursday. Anyway, and once I did that, now that list of probably 15 things or so, all of a sudden that's like five or six things to do every day. And I look at that and I think, can I get that stuff done on Monday? Yeah, I actually do. That looks reasonable. So actually taking the long list, scare list of things uh, that made me really stressful and breaking them down into tasks to do every day, all of a sudden made this look super, super reasonable. So it's still going to be a tough week, but at least I'm not stressed out right now. It's time to go out and start executing on it. All right, pretty productive morning session. Heading to the new school meeting right now. Actually, I shouldn't say new school meeting anymore. I should say Prospero meeting. As uh, I shared with you last week that Lior is leaving and we're probably not gonna keep, you know, pushing the new school as an organization. We're gonna focus only on Prospero. But either way, um, we still have to meet Lior every week now to kind of uh, see how we do this transition and kind of sign a, Kind of a leaving agreement to see what's uh what's going to happen with his share in the company and everything so 
not such a fun thing to do, but we have to do this anyway. And also, we've kind of uploaded a, a new update to Prospero last week, so I have to discuss with the app the new version we're uh, going to be working on, which is exciting and fun. Alright, so another meeting is done and it's it's actually kind of hard, you know, I'm super super excited about Crosspro and I'm feeling that it's, it's going great, but in a way because Lior is leaving that I kind of feel bad being so excited and motivated near him, I don't know, it just, just feels weird. Anyway, uh, we had to kind of build the, the agreement of him living and, you know, it's not very simple. We go over the kind of agreement that we originally uh, set up like three and a half years ago. Some of it is, is not relevant anymore. Some of it we have to kind of rethink. Um, and it's, we're good friends, but then when you start thinking about money and, and you know, kind of equity in the company and it's kind of discussions that create a little bit of tension because obviously, he feels like he gave so much to the company and he did but then again when you think about the long term right now the company is not making so much money so if it will succeed in like four years how much of that is his effort so it's kind of hard to decide on those things but we're working on it and I got to sit with Ayala on the new version which I'm super excited about so overall super productive day got everything I wanted to do done Feeling good heading back home to take the kid. Hope you guys have a super day as well. Catch you tomorrow.